and it happened again. We have a high downforce race, the FIA concentrates on checking rear wings and one team breached the limit for the gap between both rear wing elements. This time it's Williams. So when you're designing a new rear wing or just a flap, you design it for a 10mm gap in closed position and an 85mm gap in open position. It is the job of the aero designer to work out the maximum opening angle, to stay within the legal range and to work out where the maximum gap appears. Because of the bendy shape of wings, the maximum gap can appear in the middle, outboard or anywhere in between. And of course, each team has their own tolerances here. These tolerances are important to compensate deviations in production and while measuring. Bad for a team is to turn up to a race with a new wing and to have it declared illegal, so they cannot use it and all the work was for nothing. Worst case, however, is if both of your cars are disqualified from the race, and this is what happened to Williams today. We saw it in Monaco 2024 at Haas and discussed it on the channel. High downforce track, new rear wings, FIA focuses on rear wing checks, and the Haas team checked their new wing only in the middle for the maximum gap, while the new wing had the maximum gap further outboard. So it was set up incorrectly, the gap was okay in the middle but too large further outboard and so they got disqualified. And it seemed like the same happened to Williams now. They said they passed their own checks but it was illegal when the officials measured and Williams had nothing to argue against that. This is not about teams trying to get an advantage, this is more of an internal communication problem between design office and track or human error while setting up the car. So a small mistake can have a huge impact. Both Williams are disqualified and travel to Singapore for nothing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.